very warm welcome to Bharata First Time Frank Rausen Pereira. This is FRP Explains. There has been a lot that has been going on with regards to Mehul Choksi and will he indeed be brought back to India or not. He has been on the run for over two years now. It all started in 2018 when wind of the Punjab National Bank scam came to the fore and it is alleged that he has swindled uh, Indian banks of 13,000 odd crore rupees and uh, this is what he is alleged to have done and since then he has been in the Caribbean, he has been in Antigua and Barbuda and he has taken protection under uh, the Caribbean nation but on May 23rd reports emerged of him having disappeared and then he was eventually picked up in the neighboring island country of Dominica. The police in Dominica saw a man destroying some papers and throwing them at sea and they found his behavior suspicious and then went and questioned him and asked him what he was doing there and when he had no answer the police in Dominica arrested him. Ever since there have been various details that have come to the fore uh, Mehul Choksi himself and his wife and others have claimed that he was abducted, he was honey trapped and uh, an attempt was made to bring him back to India. Now the local authorities in Antigua and Dominica have refused or refuted these allegations and said that uh, Mehul Choksi was actually trying to escape and run away from Antigua and try and get entry into Cuba because uh, he got information that Antigua would be deporting him to India and he did not want that to happen and hence he was trying to escape to Cuba. So there are multiple theories, multiple stories. There is this uh, whole issue of uh, Jessica, uh, Barbarina I think is her name. She is also involved at some point in time. Mehul Choksi's wife has come out and spoken to the media and said that her husband was honey trapped and has given several details about how this woman befriended them and then eventually trapped him and how he was picked up from his apartment with over 10 goons and taken away. And that's why he has a bloodied eye and you know a few bruises and all of that. Now the Dominican court has taken cognizance of this matter and local reporters in Dominica have said that uh, 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 Mehul Choksi's lawyers and uh, his nephew and others have been able to connive with uh, the opposition leaders in Dominica and then coerce the court into accepting these allegations that have been made by uh, Mehul Choksi and team and hence he has been granted interim relief from deportation. Gaston Brown, the Prime Minister of the... I mean again there are so many twists and turns to this so I have to try and approach them and take them forward accordingly. Gaston Brown who is the Prime Minister of Antigua has categorically stated that uh, Mehul Choksi is a liability to Antigua and he will be deported to India and he should not be kept in Antigua is what he has said. Hence, this turn of events now has ensured that Mehul Choksi can stay in Dominica. Now, as far as, uh, you know, extradition treaties and uh, agreements are concerned between India and these Caribbean countries, India has extradition treaties with a few countries and it has extradition arrangements with a few others. Antigua is a nation with whom we have an exchange, uh, an extradition arrangement. With Dominica, we don't have either a treaty or an arrangement. With Antigua, we signed the, treaty, the arrangement in 2001 and it follows the principles laid out in the Extradition Act of 1962. Let me also give you a few more figures. Over the last six years, there have been 72 economic offenders who have run away from India. Vijay Malya is one of them. Nirav Modi is the other. They both are in the UK. That process is on and it is far more difficult, I believe, to get these economic offenders back to India, especially from countries like UK, even though we have a treaty with them. Since we are here talking about economic offenders, let me also tell you that 72 economic offenders over the last six years, only two of them have been extradited and brought back to India. So it's a difficult process because, you know, it's easier to extradite people, terrorists, murderers, 
or people who have committed heinous crimes. But economic offenders, even other nations don't take it that seriously because you have to deal with the other nations laws as well. And it depends on how the courts there interpret the laws. For instance, Vijay Malya has time and again spoken about how there are the conditions in Indian prisons are inhuman and he cannot come here and he should not be ex extradited to India. So these kind of aspects are taken into consideration by the uh, courts as well because uh, they look at humanitarian grounds and other grounds too before extraditing someone. Now, as far as Dominica is concerned, as far as Antigua is concerned, yes, they are small nations, but let's not forget they are sovereign nations as well and we can't coerce and force them. There is no difference between us and China there. And local politics and local dynamics also come to the fore. Everywhere politicians are involved and they would like to cater to their own constituency and keep that particular aspect going as well. Money is also a big factor. So all these factors when they are combined and put together, the issue only becomes that much more complicated and that much more murkier. In Mehul Choksi's case, because of what has happened and because of what he has done in terms of running away, uh, you know, it becomes a little more easier for India to actually push that card through and try and get him extradited. So it looks like Mehul Choksi's days are numbered as compared to Nirav Modi and Vijay Malya in the UK. That having been said, because the matter is in court, Mehul Choksi has been able to buy some time for himself and how this matter further twists and turns in the days to come remains to be seen. Only time will tell us exactly what will happen. But I feel we have a far fairer chance to get Mehul Choksi back to India than we have with Nirav Modi and Vijay Malya. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of FRP Explains. If you like the content, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and then all notifications. For those of you who would like to come forward and make a contribution, you may do so by using our UPI IDs. A small contribution that you make will go a long way in us bringing you this content. Do let us know what you feel about this issue. You can leave your suggestions and feedback as well in the comment section below and I'll take a look at it. That's it from me. See you again next time.